rabbit confit, and rabbit ragu. These are some of the interesting dishes being served at Makati's newest resto bar called The Rabbit Room. Today, my whole family braved Manila's traffic to try some of their southern Filipino-inspired dishes and Italian dishes to pair with their unique and refreshing cocktails. And the fee starts here. All right, so we just arrived here at the rabbit room here in Makati. We're going to have very delicious rabbit dinner, and there's going to be a lot more. I can't wait. I'm so hungry. Let's go. So I'm just going through the menu and it looks so nice and limited which shows that they want to focus on their strength just to focus on specific dishes that they master and the name of this restaurant is Rabbit Room so of course we have to get rabbit dishes so for starters I think I'm gonna get the rabbit ragu with brioche rolls and it's basically a rabbit loin slowly braised with their in-house tomato passato served with toasted brioche rolls and I think for salad I, I want to get the pugad pugo which are soft boiled quail eggs on a bed of fried enoki mushrooms topped over mixed greens drizzled with their roasted sesame dressing and of course this is a restaurant and a bar at the same time so they have here a portion where you could pick chows or like bar bite to go with cocktails or alcoholic drinks so i think i'm gonna get the pulpo and potatoes and it's basically a grilled baby octopus marinated in a salad style and served with spicy mint aioli, baby potatoes, and salsa verde. And for the mains, this is actually very interesting because they have a very exotic name or dish that's called pendatun chicken with aglai fry. And this is their take on the classic piangang, which I'm only hearing from Mindanao. It's like a Mindanao dish or Maranao dish. It's a chicken dish of Mindanao. They have the quarter leg of chicken cooked in uh, coconut milk with turmeric, lemongrass, and coconut coconut ash and served with their stir-fried adlai. I think a type of grain, a healthier alternative of rice. And it's served with that stir-fried adlai and cauliflower. And then for the fish, I think I'm gonna go with the bakoko inaluban, which is a sea green. And it's their take on a classic maranao inaluban. They're using a fillet of the bakoko crusted with leeks, pan-fried and served with turmeric coconut milk sauce. And of course, I think the star of their menu Menu is the rabbit confit so I gotta get that so they're using rabbit legs that's slowly cooked in butter and herbs served with their in-house mashed potato I can't wait to have those rabbit legs for the pork dish I'm kind of craving for pork so maybe I'm, I'm gonna add a lomo peperonata with mash which is a pan seared spice crusted pork tenderloin with peperonata sauce and tarragon butter served with their in-house mashed potato again and then for uh, pasta since Kayla loves pasta. Maybe I'll add the putanesca, which is rigatoni pasta with anchovies, capers, garlic, cooked with their in-house passato and topped with olives. They have interesting dessert menu too. So I think I'm gonna get the binaki. I've never had this before. And I think binaki comes from Cebu and Bukidnon and, and other parts of Northern Mindanao. And it's a famous delicacy and as well as a street food snack. And it's essentially a sweet corn tamales steamed in husks topped with honey caramel and cornflakes so this is their take on that and i think it's like a mexican spanish influence in a way because you know corn tamales very mexican like mexican street food and i'm also interested in inutak tartlets inutak i believe they originate in pateros their version is a coconut cream and ube halaya baked in tartlets on a bed of cookie pandan butter crumb and of course they have a peach mango roll which really sounds like the one that you can get from the fast food but this is their version which are the fried rolls filled with their peach and mango filling served with vanilla ice cream my mouth is already watering i'm gonna start ordering and hopefully we can get some kitchen shots and then eat
cannot wait and I'm very entertained by the bartenders here. They look so skillful in creating or making each cocktail and I just felt so like thirsty and looking at their signature cocktails I immediately ordered their white rabbit which is a classic and a spin on the classic uh, white rabbit candy that's made into a cocktail. So the white rabbit has a milk liqueur, the grated parmesan on top and then the second cocktail is called a working mama for foodie mama and it has tequila, rosemary syrup, coconut foam, pamapa itum or burnt coconut which is very interesting and it's topped with some salt and I think lemon zest and then lastly we have here the la pasión which is a mix of vodka, passion fruit, lemon juice and mint leaves. I think I'm gonna drink the, the white rabbit last so let's start with the la pasión first. Cheers! Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love the mix of the vodka with the passion fruit. But it's so fruity and it's so perfect for this summer. Oh, and then the, there's the sourness from the lemon juice and then freshness from the mint leaves. It's just so perfect. Now let's move on to the working mama. I'm very interested in this because it has some burnt coconut in it. And it's got some um, coconut foam on top. Mm. What? What? Wow. I've never had this before. I've had my tequila with lime and salt, but this one with coconut foam and burnt coconut, it just gives it a different texture and layer of like creaminess. There's like a cloud on top of it and it gives it a nice balance. Oh, this is so nice. And of course, the star of the cocktail menu, signature cocktail, white rabbit. Here. That's so like milky, creamy. It reminds me of, um, you know those vodka mud shake that is sweet with alcohol in it that's so addictive and you'll be destroyed in a few minutes because it's so good. You can, you can finish it in seconds, actually. Oh my goodness, this is so addictive. And I love the hint of saltiness from the Parmesan cheese. I can't wait for the food. right here. So it's served with uh, two pieces of brioche rolls, slow braised with their in-house tomato passato which is very interesting. Look at that how red and bright it is with this toasted brioche roll. Let's try it. Mm. Oh yeah. This ragu is so tomatoey and tart. I love it. It's not like the Filipino version. The brioche roll is very buttery and soft and pillowy, which really goes well with this. Again, it reminds me of like a pau bhaji. This is sort of like a perfect way to start your meal here. I think they, they, they have put some rabbit shreds, rabbit meat shreds in here. They're very little, so I cannot like pinpoint the, the texture yet because it's like stewed with it, with the tomatoes. But yeah, it's like salty, savory, tangy, tart, and fresh tasting. Really good. Okay, next let's try the salad, which is the pugad pugo. So as you can see, pugo is the quail egg. That's the main protein in this. And it looks like a pugad, which is like a nest of a bird. 
bird's nest, basically, presentation right here. These are enoki mushrooms that has been fried up to look like a nest. And then it's topped with some, there's some mixed greens and then drizzled with the roasted sesame dressing. So let's get everything, one big bite of this. Mm. Mm. I love how crisp and fresh the salad is. All the greens here, very vibrant. And then you have that beautiful texture from the enoki, crispy. And then you have that roasted flavor from the sesame, which is kind of like a Japanese sesame dressing. Really good. I love my salads and it is really good. With the beautiful presentation and this boiled quail egg. Mm. Very creamy inside. Next is the pulpo and potatoes. So pulpo is octopus and it's got some roasted potatoes here. So these are grilled baby octopus marinated in a sal style. I want to try it as is because I've not seen this before. It's been fired up charcoal grill inside the kitchen. It's just saying hi to me right now. No, I think I want to try it with the baby potato and the sauce, which is like a spicy mint aioli. And then there's some salsa verde on top. Let me put, let me get everything. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a very big bite. Look at that, pulpo and potatoes. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Spicy lovers. You gotta try this. Love the mixture of the aioli with the spicy kick. Um, some herby flavor from the salsa verde. And you have this beautifully roasted baby octopus that is grilled perfectly. It's like very tender because I hate rubbery octopus or squid. This was grilled perfectly. Charred on the outside, very soft on the inside. Perfect with this sauce. So good. Mm. All right, so let's try the pandatun chicken with adlai fry. So it's basically a fried chicken right here, which looks so golden brown, fried to perfection. And it's got some stir-fried adlai with cauliflower. And then this sauce right here is a mixture of uh, coconut milk, turmeric, and lemongrass. So I think it's getting the color from the lemongrass. Let's get some chicken. Really nice piece of chicken right here. Drizzle it with some, some of that coconut milk with turmeric. Normally with turmeric it will turn yellow but because of that lemongrass it's become green in color i think this is my first time trying adlai as well so this is the perfect bite while i'm feeding gabby the reality of uh, rudy mama filming on site with the baby This reminds me of the Malay curry dishes because they use a lot of coconut milk and turmeric. That's the kind of influence that you can see in the South, in Mindanao. Especially in Maranao and Tausug food and cuisine. You know, the main difference is though, most Malay Singaporean dishes are very spicy. This is not spicy at all. Like, there's no spices in this. But the flavor base, really rich coconut milk with that beautifully fried chicken. And then the adlai, which is my first time eating. This can really replace your normal rice, normal white rice, because it almost has the same texture and it's lower in, and lower in calories, sugar, I believe. Good for people who have high blood pressure. So it's a really nice, healthier alternative right here, but tasty. Wow, really nice execution. I love this penduta chicken. Next is the bakoko, or, or also called the. This is the bakoko in Aluban or the sea bream. This is their take on the classic maranao dish. Look at that. It's a fillet that has been crusted with leeks and then pan fried. This is the color of the turmeric sauce with coconut milk. Look at that beautiful bright yellow sauce. delicate this fish is. It's super like soft and moist. It melts in your mouth and it's very like salty savory that really goes well with the creamy turmeric spiced coconut milk. Wow, can imagine how this can go well with the adlai as well. Alright, so let's move on to the lomo peperonata. So this is a pan seared spice crusted pork tenderloin with a peperonata sauce. I mean look at that. It's a little bit like pink on the on the middle. Let me try to cut it in half. Look at this 
because there's um, some tarragon butter on top too. So let me let me put some. So I'm assuming there's a lot of peppers in this. That's why it's called peperonata. Oh, and this one is served with their mashed potato, the in-house. So I'm gonna chase it with that. Mm. That's really good. Ultra tender pork with a beautifully herb butter. Like you can really taste the tarragon and then slightly sweet, tangy peperonata sauce. Wow, I've never had this sauce before. It's really good. Let me chase it with the mashed potato. Mm. Wow, super creamy, salty, milky, creamy. It just dissolves in my mouth right away. Love the little bits of crunchy garlic and spray onions. So good. This is the perfect match. I want to bring this home too, but maybe there will be nothing left later. It's called putanesca and it's a um, rigatoni pasta. As you can see, it's um, kind of like different in shape, which is very unique. And I believe these are freshly made pasta with some olive, capers, anchovies, garlic. Again, with the same passato sauce that ha that's with the lomo pork earlier. Get a big bite. Mm. Oh yeah. This is gonna go well with sangria. Sangria with this because of like the red sauce and then the olive. You gotta get the spirit when you come here. Set up. All right, for the finale, this is the rabbit confit. Look at this. So these are the rabbit legs that has been slowly cooked in butter and herbs. This is my first rabbit legs ever. Let me prepare my mashed potato because I'm gonna chase it with this bite. Cheers. Rabbit legs. Mm. Mm. It's so different. Like the texture is like a more chewy chicken, but the more you chew into it, the more flavor you get. Let me chase it with a mashed potato. Oh wow, this is a perfect combination. Let me try one more bite. Mm, it reminds me of the texture when you eat native chicken because it's very tasty and pizza ulam actually. This is very interesting. My first rabbit experience ever. Mm. But it's not like the taste of the red meat like duck or pigeon. It's not like as dark as that because this is, I think, still white meat. So close to chicken, native chicken. Yum. I think we're gonna finish this with my friends right here and uh, I'll see you for dessert. To taste. I'll get that roll that you put there with the vanilla ice cream. It's so warm. Mm. So warm. Warm. I like it. It's like peach mango turun. It's so warm because it's freshly fried. Cheers. Vanilla ice cream. Mm. <laughs> With some corn flakes in there. Okay, next I'll try the inutak tartlet. So I've never tried the original inutak that is from Pateros. This is gonna be my first experience on the inutak. Look at how like sticky it is because it's made out of the, there's coconut cream and ube halaya. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 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 Cheers. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh, I love this. It's so flavorful. It's not too sweet and it's very addictive. And it's so flavorful. And I can finish this in seconds. Like, but I want to leave some for my friends and my sister right here behind the camera. I think she's gonna love this. Oh my, the ube and the coconut cream. Oh my, it's so good. 
And last but not the least is the binaki, which is the sweet corn tamales topped with the corn flakes. Oh, it's still in the corn husk. So it's baked with the corn husk. It's so cute, like little corn husks. Look at that. It looks so creamy and sweet. Cheers. Mm, you can really taste the sweet corn. It's really melting in my mouth the more I bit. I actually don't need to bite it. It just melts right away. And then I love the texture from the cornflakes. These are like big cornflakes. And wow. Mm. This is a first for me. Binaki and the Inuta. Really, really good. Potato, you mean? And the lemonade? Yeah. And How about the rabbit? The rabbit also and the fruit dessert. Oh, the dessert, the peach mango roll. Yeah. Also the vanilla ice cream. So for me, I like the inuta tartlet, and then for most of the mains and the starters, they're all so good. And especially the the chicken dish with the coconut milk, <laughs> lemongrass, and turmeric. So so good. Oh, the the pasta podanesca, which is a specialty of Chef John, as he I believe he worked in Singapore for five years in a uh, famous Italian restaurant in Marina Bay Sands as well. So he gets uh, his expertise in the pasta. And I can really tell in the pasta putanesca so good that are so delicious signature cocktails made by these talented staff here and yeah we're just ending the night with some good drinks and chit chat with my with our friends and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching until we meet again see you for our show until we meet again in the philippines